everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about who got majorly snubbed at this past year's Oscars 2020. If you are new here at the channel and you love movie content, Blu-ray trips, and award season, you're going to want to hit the red subscribe down below. Also, in honor of Avengers Endgame one year anniversary this coming Sunday, we are going to be leading up to a live chat Sunday, 7 p.m. We're talking about Avengers Endgame asking me questions, just talking about the movie in general, and all of my content this week is going to be Avengers Endgame or Marvel related. How exciting is that? So let's talk about who majorly got snubbed. I think you can already tell who I'm going to be talking about. It's Avengers Endgame. Let's think about this, guys. Avengers Endgame was 10 years in the making. This was 10 years of characters being built and interwoven storylines and Avengers Endgame was the major climax of this first major chapter of the MCU and it gets majorly snubbed. It becomes the highest, gross, highest grossing movie of all time. It toppled Avatar which was on the top for I believe 10 years. And it only gets one Oscar nomination for Best Visual Effects. And it didn't even win in that category. I think it's a tragedy that it did not even get a Best Picture nomination, considering that the Academy nominated Black Panther. And was Black Panther a good movie? Yes, it is a good movie. I don't believe it is Best Picture worthy of a nomination. But it was. But Avengers Endgame gets nothing. I don't know. I just don't see how that works out. I feel like you could have given a little bit more respect to Avengers Endgame. It kind of did the impossible. No one thought it was going to beat out Avatar. And it did. And until anything else comes out, Avengers Endgame is going to be at the top for we don't even know how long. Because what is going to come out that's going to topple it? A lot of people are saying Avatar 2. Well, when is that coming out? Another 10 years or so? I have no idea. I feel like the hype with Avatar has really slowed down. And I don't think a lot of people are going to go and see it as much as the first one. What do you think about that? And as far as the one category that it was nominated for and didn't even win... Best Visual Effects. Let's talk about which other ones got nominated. So we have Endgame, 1917, Rise of Skywalker, The Lion King, and The Irishman. And the least likely movie that I thought was going to win won, and that was 1917. Kind of boggles my mind a little bit because the pretty much the majority of Avengers Endgame is special effects. That is what they do. That is what they do so well. It's kind of what they're known for and it loses. I don't know. I'm just very disappointed in the Oscars overall with how they handled Avengers Endgame and the respect and giving them some nominations. I was kind of pulling for Robert Downey Jr. a little bit. I knew it was going to be a long shot, maybe for Best Supporting Actor, because he is in an ensemble. I didn't expect that. I was hoping. But I was hoping that the Academy would be a little bit more open-minded because they are recognizing comic book movies in respective categories more nowadays. And I just wish that they treated Avengers Endgame a little bit better than what they did. Do you agree with me on this subject? Let me know down below in the comments. What are your thoughts about all of this? Let me know everything. Let's have a conversation. Thank you so much for your support, guys. We're almost at 1,100 subscribers. Hit that like and comment, and I'll see you next time.